So now we're going to move back to our Mevo lesson. Okay. And so now uh, we have, if you notice up here. I want, is it on? Okay. It's, yeah, it's recording. So up here you've got little lights that indicate uh, that the Mevo is on and it's ready to start uh, videotaping or video, ready to start video. And so you click on the Mevo icon. And the camera is on. Down here, you control your um, screen. Right now, we've got I've got it on what's called Fine Faces, right here. And then you see little blue lines right here. So it's found my face, and it's zeroing in on it. If you have guests, you want it to also find their faces too. So you want them to sit in position and kind of start talking like they would be on the radio uh, into the mics and let the camera find them. That way, it's going to kind of automatically put it, it's called being on autopilot, and it will move around as your guest and you are talking. You want to check the audio levels. You want your, audio, you want your audio levels always to be hitting about halfway up. And you can control that by using this fader here. What we do here is we run the audio that's coming through the board uh, is going into this iPad so that you're getting broadcast console audio quality going out on your live feed instead of using the microphone in the iPad or the microphone from the uh, Mevo. So you want to get the best quality of audio you possibly can. And you control that. It's uh, controlled by the headphone volume knob over here. If you raise this up past 9 o'clock, you're going to get peaking and distortion. So always make sure that your headphone volume is at 9 o'clock. Next, I've got, you have a number of different exposures here. I've got this set on backlight. So far in our experiments here, this is going to give us the best color in the room. So I keep it on backlight for that reason. You have some adjustments, but I would leave it on backlight. So then, you would close that off. You would hit this little red button here. Up here is the various streaming destinations. Most of us use Facebook. So you're going to click on Facebook. You're going to come over here to WPVM. Right now, uh, there are a number of options of other groups because it's tied into my um, Facebook account. And so these are all of the different groups that I'm associated with. You don't want any of these back here. You just want to go to this first WPVM community radio right here. Click on that and that means that it's going to go to that particular WPVM Facebook page. You're going to come up here to what's happening, type in, we're going to do a test and pretend like uh, we're doing something. Um, I think what we need to do, because we really don't want this lesson to go out live on the radio, but what you would, are live on Facebook. So what you would do is you would hit go live, and then your stream would start going out to Facebook. Um, If you want to do a private one so that you can do a test, what I would do here, so I'm going to show you <coughs> how I test the Mevo. So I go to Davine's profile 
I come here and I make it private, only me can see it. And then if I hit go live, it would go to me and it would only be me seeing it. So we don't want to do that. We want to go back to here. We want to go, we want to make sure that you're sending it out to the public and then you go live. And then you make sure at the end that you have hit the stop. slide to stop. So it takes it a few minutes and then you get this option that shows up, keep on my Facebook feed. No, I don't want to keep it up there because it was just a little test. Uh, but you also want it to save to the SD card. The camera has an SD card that stores about 40 or 50 shows. I go in and clean it out uh, about once every two or three weeks. But if your show uh, was recorded and you said save to SD card, then it's saved to that card. Uh, and then you can retrieve that by going to this one. And you can see that was just a little tutorial that I just did. And then you have the option of loading that, download it to your phone, share it somewhere that you have that... Um, you have a place to go share it and uh, then you can edit it or do whatever you want with it. Put it onto another page. Right now it's going to air, it could go to AirDrop, it could go to my iPad. If your phone is here it might pick up your AirDrop or I think you can uh, get to it, you can send it to yourself on an email. And so that's how you save it and uh, then at the end of your video uh, you want to make sure that you turn the camera off you want to make sure you turn this little iRig uh, iRig um, interface off you turn the iPad off you unplug it you plug it back in over here so that the power is there for the next person and any questions? No, no questions. questions. You think you can do it? I'd have to review it. Yeah, yeah, you have to review it. Yeah, it's a step-by-step -step thing, and it's not something that you know you, you want to make sure you get every step right. Right. So um, one thing to remember is once you get your camera set up and you have your connection going, you can see the picture before you go live, how it's set up, and you want to stage your picture so that you look good, you want to show your best side if possible, and your guest, you have your guest set up so that uh, the uh, quality of the visions going out is as advantageous to you as possible. Right, yes. So uh, I know uh, whenever I come in to do a live show, I make sure my makeup is good, I make sure that I'm wearing something solid or something that's not going to be really conflicting on the air. And there's a lot to learn about uh, live streaming and, and uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube. Mevo has a bunch of great videos on how to operate the camera that you can uh, check out their tutorial. And welcome to cutting edge technology that no other radio station in Asheville is doing. So we are definitely ahead of the pack and we want to stay ahead of the pack. So if that if James doesn't have any questions, then this tutorial is over. <laughs>